right guys, I am here with Brendan and we're at Bennett Springs State Park. So what we're doing is Oasis Divers actually, they put together an event this year and this is like a trout fishing park. So a lot of people are fishing here and a lot of people have to like get, they get tangled and they have to cut their lines. So what we're doing is there's gonna be like 170 something people here helping clean up the streams and stuff. And then there's gonna be about 20, uh, 20 of us that are gonna be diving in the streams and actually cutting the line out and stuff. So not exactly sure what to expect. Never done anything like this, but um, what do you think? Well, it's just looked as 38 degrees outside and the water is what, 56 degrees? <laughs> it's gonna so, be very cold. Be cold. The hellbender is a salamander that is slowly um, trying to make a comeback, but it's really struggling in our area. So it is uh, a lot of monofilament in the waters uh, that we just don't think about when we're fishing and we get a snag so it stays in there and it's damaging. It's the whole ecosystem basically. What we are finding, there are a lot of them that are deformed. And so mm. we're really trying to get this habitat cleaned out for them so they have a safe environment. Just some thoughts for, for everybody coming out of that. Uh, spring this morning, I checked, is 100 million gallons of water a day. Wow. Yeah. We just pulled up at zone two. That's where we're going to be diving. Um, we're getting all of our gear out. We're getting ready to put our wetsuits on. We are diving wet today, so it's going to be a little bit chilly. Talk to this guy, John, over here. He's a cool cave diver. He's like about 100 times more experienced than we are. I did a bad thing. I didn't put my tank on very tight. Brennan's having to put it on for me. Brennan and I are all ready to go. We are about to get on this trailer up here and uh, they're gonna take us to the drop zone. So next time you see some footage, it's probably gonna be from the GoPro, I think. All right, you ready, Brennan? Uh, ready as I've ever be. Let's do it. I think I'm gonna head straight this way and then back and forth. Yeah. Ready? And here we are, finally underwater. Pretty cool to get to swim with the trout. Never done anything like this before, so it's a pretty good experience for us. This is pretty much what we did the whole time though, was just pick up lures like this. And uh, I didn't put every video in of us picking up stuff, but it was good. The water clarity was good. Brendan ended up being a little light on weight, so I gave him some of mine. Dude, I'm not cold at all. I'm definitely going to my skinnier gloves. My hands are not bothering me whatsoever. My hands will. My hands are like girl hands. A lot of this line would just get tangled up all in a big ball. You can see somebody lost like their whole carabiner set up there or something. But yeah, just cut everything away. Man, those hooks would get caught so bad in the gloves. You just get all tangled up. That's why you dive with a knife to save your life. Told that fish better back up. Back to work though. No, it was a good time though. We had a really good, we had a really good time doing this. It was something different. Brennan and I haven't done this in the past and I think we'll probably go back and do it again next year just a fun different dive but we pretty much all the trash that we collected we pushed them in their coffee cans like that and then at the end we gave them gave them back found a whole spool of line dude somebody threw the whole spool in Throw them back. this fish got a little bit too close for his own good and it would cost him wanted to show Brendan and uh, this part right here is so funny. We've laughed so much over this. We wanted to take the fish, give him a little pet, give him a nice kiss. <laughs> Got him all dry. We've laughed so much over that. Oh my goodness. Definitely a lot of fishing line. The diving was very, uh, it was challenging. I'll put it that way. It was kind of shallow. The current was real swift. I mean, we were just kind of pushed about, but other than that, I, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Definitely prefer my warm water, but that was definitely, like you said, it was challenging. So it was a good experience. How we doing? Oh, I have to take a picture of you. <laughs> so there's actually a cave up at the end of this, uh, up at the beginning of this spring here. 
Now, we're not gonna go back in the cave. We've already decided that we're not cave certified 100%. We're not going back in the cave, but there is a cavern. And we've been in quite a few caverns before, so we're pretty comfortable. We met this guy named John. He's a, he's fully cave certified. He's actually get, gonna be going back into the cave. So we're gonna follow him into the mouth. Now, I don't really think it's, I don't really think you're allowed to go back there right now today. So, I don't know, just kinda see what, just gonna see what happens here. We're not really sure where John went. So we're gonna go try to find him. I'm gonna call John real quick. Your call has been forwarded. Oh, here's John. <laughs> he cared. He did care. <laughs> he called me back. <laughs> Alright, so they uh they found out we were getting ready to go in. We'll see what happens. I'm just saying it's it's all underneath our insurance though, so this is our like what we got. So yeah, we can. So are you guys getting in the spring head? Okay. Do yeah. you have a safety diver for the surface? Yes. Okay. Multiple. Did you sign off on the dive policy for the park? Yes. Okay. Yep, we've got it all covered. We know. I wasn't too sure that that was going to happen there for a second, but I guess we're all approved. Um, so we're going to get suited up and let's do it. So this is at the head of Bennett Springs. Now we're in the water. Our dive plan is that I would go first. You can see Brennan kind of waved me forward. Um, two things real quick. This is just a cavern dive. This is not a cave dive. I uh, just want to be really, really clear about that. And second thing is, is man, I, I kind of shine my light in a lot of people's face, so. That was really just inexperienced of me. And you'll see, I'll point it out a couple other times. Well, there's one of them right there. Checking on Brennan, make sure he's okay. So John was at the front and I was following his buddy and we kind of get split up. Uh, I tried to go around the outside there, kind of pushed me back. So I had to go back by Brendan. Right before it pushed me, uh, the guy that was in front of me, um, it, it just pushed him all the way back out. So at this point right now, he's actually out at the mouth again. Um, I mean, he was just kind of gone. Once you get in that current, it just so, so strong. I had to drop the GoPro and actually kind of go upside down to get under that. Now I'm trying to explain to John that his buddy, his partner, got caught in the current and pushed out. So... That was kind of a bummer. We basically split, not split, but we went back out, made sure that he was okay, and then here we are going back in for the second time. The goal is once you get back in there to grab onto a ratchet strap and just ride the current. That's kind of the back of the cavern. I won't talk the whole time. I'll kind of let some of this play because this is the entire video. Uh, I didn't really cut too much out of this just so you guys can see what what it's like in the cavern zone here at Bennett. The second time going in, I really tried to stay behind John as close as I possibly could because he really cut the current in front of me. You can see those rocks just, that's how strong the current is, just get blown back in your face. And as long as you can stay up behind him, he really takes the brunt of the current. I believe they call this the first low ceiling right here. Just so much water pressure. Getting past this is a little bit difficult. Again, I have to drop the GoPro to get underneath of that. Kind of have to almost turn upside down to get underneath of that, or at least I did. I never really knew that there was stuff like this in Missouri. I mean, I knew there was caves in Missouri, but I didn't know they would be this cool. I've been in a lot of caverns down in Florida, just at Jenny Spring and Itchituckney. I uh, did not know that there was stuff like this in Missouri, so really, really cool to experience. I think we're at 66 feet there. I think all the way at the back we'd be at like 80-something. 
like 84, 85 feet. Really, really cool part right here. You can just see where the limestone's kind of just worn away. And again, gotta shine that light in his face. Idiot! This was kind of another area where you, the current below you was just going so fast that you couldn't really go under that, so you had to go out and around it. Um, but again, had to drop the GoPro to do that. So here's the ratchet strap. Grab onto that, all the current, all the water, 100 something million gallons of water coming out a day is going right underneath of you, right there. And you just grab onto that thing and you are holding on for your life, basically. Get a little selfie shot. Check out the black rope, and then I let go, I'm gone. This is the popcorn room, this is so cool. All these rocks are always kind of just being blown up off the bottom and suspended. You know what, it feels like kind of like just in the air, you know, just in the water. Um, so now we're just floating back out. Shine Brendan in the face one more time, how about that? He says it's pretty good. And that's it, we're out. Connect back up with John. And what a dive. What a dive. So cool. It's not over though, gotta shine John in the face just one more time. And that's pretty much it. That was it for that dive. We go back out. One of the coolest experiences that I've ever had. But again, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments below. We kind of did our safety stop, and uh, after this, we left.